If you want to talk about anesthesia, there are four main principles that you must understand. Rule number one, CNS drugs must be lipid soluble or be actively uptaken in order for them to pass the blood brain barrier. Rule number two, if you decrease the blood solubility, the drug would have faster onset of action. Think about it this way, if the drug has high blood solubility and we administer it through the arteries of the arm, by the time that it reaches the blood brain barrier, all of the drug is going to be already diffused all over the blood and nothing is going to touch the blood brain barrier. But if the drug has low blood solubility and we administer it through the arteries of the arm, once it reaches the blood brain barrier, all of the drug is going to be right there inside the blood and it's going to touch the blood brain barrier and be uptaken. Rule number three, if you increase the, the lipid solubility of a drug, you increase its potency. And this makes sense because lipid soluble drugs can diffuse through the blood brain barrier. Rule number four, potency equals one over MAC. So basically, if you increase potency, you decrease MAC. MAC is the minimum alveolar concentration of a drug. Basically, the amount of drug that is required to put 50% of patients to sleep and make them unresponsive for pain. We will look into examples right now to make things easier and simpler, but I suggest that you pause the video right now and look at these four principles one more time and try and memorize them. Okay, first example. Nitric, nitric oxide is known to have low blood solubility and low lip solubility. What's nitric oxide's potency and onset of action duration? The correct answer is low potency and faster onset of action. Second example, halothane is known to have high blood solubility and high lipid solubility. What's halothane's potency and onset of action duration? The correct answer is high potency and slow onset of action.